Good evening. Good evening. Today, I just want to share from 1 Timothy 4, verses 7 and 8. I want to continue a little bit kind of in the same realm that I was sharing on yesterday. And uh, just to reiterate the point, uh, 1 Timothy 4, 7 says, But, you know, refuse profane and old wives' fables and exercise yourself unto godliness. For bodily exercise profits little. But godliness is profitable unto all things, and has promise of the life that is now, and that which is to come. And it's important that we understand um, that this is is setting forth a principle for us to understand. Exercise yourself unto godliness, and bodily exercise is profiting a little bit, but godliness is profitable unto all things. Um, but we need to see that that Paul is is kind of like um, sim there's the similarity between uh, training for godliness and training for physical training uh, like bod like bodybuilding in the same way that you would build your body by repetition um, so also you would do likewise with with godliness. So we need to put things into practice and continue to do them and, and, and repeat them over and over again to, to work out our spiritual muscles. And, and over time, you know, it's just like, it's just like, you know, nobody wants to go to the gym, right? Uh, that's the hard, it's so hard to get started working out. And, you know, and then if you walk into the gym, you know, overweight, you don't walk out of the gym with a six pack, you know, and, and it makes it hard, um, for us to, to continue to do, um, what we're trying to do because we're always wanting to see results. So the important thing is to, to keep at it and keep doing it. And, and even though we might not see the results right away, um, we will, if we are consistent and persistent just like it takes for, for physical training. Uh, so let's train ourselves on the godliness, just like I was saying yesterday about taking captive thoughts that weren't uh, producing the fruit of righteousness. Uh, we, we have to actually exercise ourselves to do that. Uh, write our thoughts out, write down scriptures that are contrary to, to what we're struggling with, uh, to, to repeat in our mind. You know, J David says, your word have I written in my heart that I might not sin against you? Uh, we need to memorize scriptures that um, help us to overcome our, our struggles. You know, if we're struggling with anxiety, be anxious for nothing. You know, just memorizing scriptures um, and, and repetitive um, practice is what I'm trying to get across here. And, and just like how you would exercise uh, bodily to... to body build we need to implement the same um implement the same things for for physical for godly training amen